Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Okay, let's read this question together first. The question asks us to find the last two digits of 7 to the power of 5 to the power of 6. Alright, so when they write like this, 7 to the power of 5 to the power of 6, that means that which one do you take to the power of first? 7 to the power of 5 or 5 to the power of 6 first? In fact, it's 5 to the power of 6 first, alright? So, it's like... It's always do this one first, okay? Okay, so first thing first. Notice that 7 to the power of 4 minus 1 7 to the power of 4 is 2401, okay? So minus 1, that is 2400, alright? So notice that this is always divisible by 100, okay? So that means that if you write in modulo 4, 7 to the power of 4 is congruent to 1 modulo 100, okay? Because 1400 is divisible by 100. So if I raise to the power of n, okay, it's mo modular operation, all right? If I raise to the power of n, 1 I also need to raise to the power of n, but 1 raised to the power of n is still 1, okay? Modulo 100. Keep it first, okay? All right, so now remember our main point is we want to find 7 to the power of 5 to the power 6 okay so i need to know that uh 5 to the power of 6 what is it modulo 4 okay what is it modulo 4 or what is it when divided by what's the remainder when divided by 4 first is notice that 5 is congruent to 1 mod 4 all right because 5 divided by 4 remainder is 1 so that means if I raise to the power of 6, 1 raised to the power of 6 is still a 1. Okay, so that means that 5 to the power of 6, when divided by 4, the remainder is 1. So I can write as 5 to the power of 6 as 4k plus 1 for some integer k. Okay? For some positive integer k. Alright, so back to the main question, 7 to the power of 5 to the power of 6, that would be equal to 7 to the power of, instead of writing as 5 to the power of 6, I write it as 4k plus 1. Okay, so that is equal to 7 multiplied by 7 to the power of 4k. Okay, if you do this modulo 100, Okay, 7 is still congruent to 7. 7 to the power of 4k. 4k or 4n is the same thing, okay? n and k is basically just any integer, any positive integer will do. So 7 to the power of 4k is congruent to 1, alright? As we can solve from the second line there. Yeah? So 7 times 1 is still a 7. So that means that the number 7 to the power of 5 to the power of 6 when divided by 100 the remainder is 7 and because the remainder is 7 when divided by 100 hence the last two digit we are talking about divided by 100 correct so the last two digits is or are 0 7 Okay, so the answer would be 0, 7. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.